Let's take a look at how you would do an enhancement design using Land 1 Takeoff. What we have here is a drone photo that we've taken of a house and we're going to plan an outdoor living space for this house. A small project, something simple, something that we could do fast and easy. So you can see I've already set up this project. This is a drone photo. I've uploaded the items that I discussed with the homeowner about doing here in the left side. We've scaled our photo. This is a tape we pulled before we pulled the drone shot. Scaled it calibrate our scale to what this photo is. So now I can begin designing. The first thing I want to do for this is I'm going to draw a patio off the back and some pergolas because I want to pull some distance guides just to give me some guidance on where I'm going to place things. So I'm going to pull off about 15 feet from the house here. I also want to pull about 15 foot from this existing pad to give me some distance markers. All right, now I can begin designing. So I'm gonna start with my paver area. We wanna come off the corner of the house here. I'm gonna turn on my curve tools so I can get a nice swooping curve around the outside. We want to swoop in, I think swoop back in. About here where we'll start our ground level deck and pergola. Now I can edit this shape. I think I wanna bring this out about 15 feet edit and smooth this curve something nice all right I like that so there's my patio you can see I've calculated my square footage I also calculated my paver base and setting sand because I had set up that assembly before I started now I want to do my ground level deck and I'm also going to measure my pergola at the same time because those are tied together. We're going to cover the deck with a nice pergola off the side here. So we're going to come in just off this patio, same distance. We want to come to where the shrubs start. There. Now we have a nice little deck. This will be a covered area for sitting and entertaining. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out some shrubs just to get, dress it up with some landscaping around. They want a little bit of color, so we're going to do some knockout roses, uh, evergreen on the corner, some Russian sage to give some perennials. So I'm going to lay out those shrubs, and then I'm going to label them to get my design ready for proposing to the customer. Okay, there we finished our design. We're gonna delete these distance guides here that I don't need. There's some rulers that I've had. I've laid out everything and it's pretty much ready to propose to my customer. I wanna dress it up a couple, two different ways. One, I wanna go ahead and add a logo on. So I'm just gonna add a land one logo. You would add your company logo that you might want. So I did that using our image tool. I'm just gonna drop a land one logo here at the bottom. The other thing I want to do is I want to add a plant list on here just so that I have that full plant list for the customer but then also to give my crew when it's time to install the project. So the way I would do that is I'm going to hop back into the project summary view. I'm going to reconcile these quantities over for my estimate. I'm just going to round down this to 200. Mulch. Paper. Same, same. Okay, now that I have those reconciled, I can download my material, take off. It's going to give me this schedule here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my snipping tool, snip and sketch, new. I'm going to snip this area here. I, I don't really worry about my paper base and setting sand, so I'm just going to go down to my mulch bed. I'll have that image. I can save it to my project file. Now we can hop back over into our plan, image tool, grab the screenshot, 
and now it's on. I've dropped it in. Now this is pretty much done, ready to share with my customer, hop into my estimating software spreadsheet and go ahead and get a price so I can give to the customer. If I'm gonna share it with the customer, simply gonna download the plan, annotated plans. I'm gonna turn off my quantity labels. I'll download it and it's gonna give me a PDF to share with that customer. So I can email it to them or print it off and, and do an in-person presentation if I wanted to do it that way. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other videos for more tips and tricks of how to use Land One Takeoff.